Reuters. Technology is now shifting away from the PC and into a new wireless world where data flows through the air and where questions abound about who may have access to private data. The world we're entering is a personalized 1984, a world of multiple big brothers where we're able to spy on one another. Many of the latest gadgets rely on the use of wireless data transmission using RFID, or radio frequency identification, powered by chips made to be read by sensors from a range of up to five feet. Asia has been leading the charge. Commuters in Japan can pay for mass transit and other items with their RFID-equipped cell phones. And similar programs have recently arrived in Europe. In South Korea, American firm Gale International and Korean-based POSCO have taken it a step further, building a ubiquitous technology city called New Song Do. LG Electronics is developing the city infrastructure called U-Life using RFID technology. A sensor grid will allow residents equipped with their smart card house key to pay bills, share medical records, and even open their doors wirelessly. Private data on U-Life residents will be stored in a massive database. Planners claim the database is not linked to personal identities, but some worry whether those safeguards will be enough. In the privacy-conscious U.S., initial projects are more modest. MasterCard and Citibank are now conducting pay pass trials in New York and Philadelphia using an RFID card similar to systems in Asia and Europe. U.S. cell phone companies are also testing RFID payment systems. And Verichip offers RFID chips with personal ID numbers to be implanted into people's arms and connected to password protected medical history databases. But for some, the idea of implanted chips rings alarm bells. I think RFID in some applications uh, works very well. I think where the concerns arise is when RFID is tied to personal identity documents, uh, such as student identity cards, and most seriously when people talk about implanting RFID chips under the skin. Uh, that's a very serious privacy issue, probably a human rights issue. The U.S. government has been working on RFID-embedded passports and a kind of national real ID card. The program has been attacked by members of Congress and many states on fears that the system would be used for tracking. There are also questions whether the data can be encrypted well enough to make it secure while making it still easily accessible. Some fear private parties might be able to skim RFID data and use it illegally. You could pass a wand over a room full of these passports uh, and, and read people's passport numbers and, and travel information you know, trivially with, with you know, absolute simplicity. Um, so I, I think it's, it's actually a very real concern and a very valid concern. Um, whether we will move towards a, a secure RFID uh, infrastructure you know, it's always possible to encrypt information, but it's, it's always possible also to defeat encryption. And so maybe it's just better not to have them at all. Ultimately, the use of new technology may remain to a certain degree a trade-off between convenience and security. Going forward, governments will have to develop new secure standards. And consumers, of course, will have to evaluate their threshold for potential risks. For Reuters in New York, I'm Laura Wells.